Koraput, the land of diversity, is decorated by forest, waterfalls, terraced valleys and spring that attract nature lovers. Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy of the Koraput district because around 83% of people depend on it. The soil and climate are favorable for taking up different diverse crops. The main crops grown are paddy, millets, maize and pulses. But millets play an important role for the small and marginal tribal farmers as millets have the capability to address food, nutrition, fodder and the most important, the climate change. Millets in Koraput are just not food but an integral part of the tribal communities. Days are changing and the crisis in agriculture is increasing due to climate change. There is a frequent occurrence of drought. But think for a moment which is the crop that is going to handle this harsh climate condition. It's definitely the hardy millets that can sustain this water starvation. That is why I say millets are the future crop. Millets area in Koraput. Millets are the next crop grown after rice in terms of area. Millets are cultivated in 72,689 hectares, out of which Finger millet is cultivated in 59,139 hectares and that accounts for about 79%. Rest in 12,815 hectares, other millets are grown like little millet, foxtail millet, sorghum, per millet and barnyard millet. Now let us see the importance of millets in Koraput. The beauty of millet is that they can be grown in less fertile soil and requires very less water. The soil of Koraput is mostly acidic and the lands are sloppy surrounded by hills. The only crop that is suitable for this type of land is the millets and that's truly the miracle grain. Millet is the only crop addressing malnutrition as it is rich in nutrients, minerals, antioxidants and many more. Millets are the storehouse of nutrition. Any parameter of nutrition Millets are far ahead as compared to rice and wheat. Millets support the fodder security of cattle and contribute immensely to the animal health of a community. A mixed cropping system is followed in millets in Korapu. It is grown in combination with pulses and oilseed, thus making it a holistic farming system. Now let us see the types of millets grown in Korapu. Finger millet is also known as ragi, but here the locals call it mandia. Due to its nutritional benefits and ease of the process, it is mostly consumed in rural areas. It is an important food in most of the tribal family and it is the first food of the day as it gives them more energy to work throughout the day. Finger millet is rich in calcium as it contains about 364 mg per 100 gram of grains. It has more fiber than wheat and rice and this slows down digestion and controls the blood sugar level in the body. You can find a lot of finger millet varieties in Koraput. Some varieties are Jam Mandia, Jana Mandia, Dasara Mandia, Bhalu Mandia, Kaliya Mandia, Bati Mandia, Sano Mandia and many more. Ratnakar Jani of Parja Godri of Dasmant block had grown finger millet organically in his four acres of land and has become the inspirational farmer after his retirement from Defense Force. To know his journey, you can check out the link in the description below. The introduction of cycle weeder under Odisha Millet Mission for weeding has made work easier and saving time and money 
of the farmers. Our gas batch was paying fees. The car is permission man tell us that. So that man tell us to look for the gas man. We have to go in for that. Mori go that. I'm going to show you the best service I can. He was supported by Odisha Millet Mission. The facilitating agency Dhan Foundation came forward and guided him from seed to market and he was able to harvest about 40 quintals from his 4 acre land. The second millet which comes after ragi is the little millet and it is locally called suwa. It is wonderful millet that is suitable for all age groups. Little millet has an important role in providing nutraceutical components such as phenols, tannins and phytates with other nutrients. The third one is the foxtail millet. It is locally called kangu. Foxtail millet provides a host of nutrients and possesses many health benefits and has a sweet nutty flavor and it's considered to be the most digestible and non-allergic grains available. The delicious kangu kheer is prepared out of this millet. The fourth one is the barnyard millet which is locally called khira. This crop is grown in very less area but it has the potential to deliver better income to the farmers. The presence of husk in little millet, foxtail millet and barnyard millet makes it difficult to process. The women of Bhanjapadar village said it takes about one hour to process one kg of little millet. When any guest comes to our home or at the time of festival, we process the little millet for consumption. Introducing millet processing machine will make their work easier and reduce drudgery. There are few farmers in Narayan Patna and Bandunga block of Koraput who cultivate Jawar and Bajra. In the coming days, sorghum is the crop that will address the fuel deficiency as it has the capacity to produce biodiesel. Last year, a trial of per millet was conducted in RRTTS Simliguda. The outcome of the trial was phenomenal. It showed that Kuraput climate and soil is most favorable for pearl millet cultivation. The only thing to remember that the harvesting period should not coincide with the rains. Pearl millet contains phytochemicals that lowers cholesterol. It contains folate, magnesium, copper, zinc and vitamin A and B complex. It is recommended for pregnant women due to its high iron content. Millet farming in Koraput offers livelihood security as it supports employment during the cropping season starting from plowing to processing. The tribal people still possess skill and talent in cooking with millets. They make a lot of recipe out of millets. The famous recipes are Mandia Jau, Mandia Onda, Mandia Rav, Mandia Roti and many more. Millets are the part and parcel of people of Koraput. Millets play a critical role in food security. The millet diversity is ensuring the dietary diversity on the plates of the tribes of Koraput and thus addressing the nutritional security. Millets are addressing the livelihood and income of the farmers. This makes millets the miracle grain of Koraput.